welcome to this important ceremony today. I'm Mike Ward. I'm the Senior Vice President for uh, Government and Public Affairs for the Huntsville Madison County Chamber of Commerce. And I want to thank you for uh, joining this celebration uh, of the groundbreaking for DRS Technologies new Redstone Gateway facilities. DRS Technologies is a leading supplier of integrated products, services, and support to military forces, intelligence agencies, and prime contractors worldwide. The company's move into Redstone Gateway is expected to increase efficiency for the important work that they do in the military sustainment and homeland security business. As you know, Huntsville and Madison County are fortunate to have elected leaders who work together to create a business climate that allows companies like DRS Technologies to thrive. And we are fortunate to have three of those elected officials with us today. Please hold your applause until I've recognized all of them. But we're, we have with us today uh, U.S. Representative Mo Brooks, uh, Huntsville Mayor Tommy Battle, and Madison County Commission Chairman Dale Strong. We would certainly not be here today if it were not for the partnership between our local government and Redstone, because there would be no Redstone Gateway if, without that partnership. Uh, I'd like to ask our elected officials to make a few remarks at this time. First, we will hear from Congressman Brooks, who was actually a member of the Madison County Commission. Uh, when the concept of Redstone Gateway was first advanced. Congressman, if you would please Thank make you. your remarks. It's a pleasure to be here today with DRS Technologies, and it's a pleasure, too, to see uh, the fruits of our labors on the Madison County Commission working in conjunction with the uh, City of Huntsville, uh, Redstone Arsenal, and other entities. It's that long-term thought process looking forward that enables us to celebrate what we're celebrating here today with DRS Technologies. And let me digress for a moment. Many of you may not know this, but they were birthed in 1952 in this community, back when they were Chrysler. They then became Pentastar, became PEI, became IDT, and now are known as DRS Technologies. So they've been here in one form or another now for a little over uh, six decades. And that's a tremendous commitment on y'all's part to our community that we're very appreciative of. Uh, they have roughly 200 employees today uh, with the capability with this expansion, this facility, uh, to bring in another 50 or 100 more, and we look forward to assisting you in any way possible to do that. And I'd be remiss if I didn't add one thing uh, concerning what DRS does that is so important to our national defense in our country. Everybody knows that the United States of America is facing a lot of financial constraint right now. We're looking for ways to save money. And what DRS does with their technological and testing capabilities is they enhance the United, State, United States military's capability of determining when something is about to go wrong with an Abrams tank, a Bradley a vehicle, or some other type of uh, military equipment. And what that means in terms of cost of maintenance and repair is that long term, we're only repairing things when we have to repair things, which means that we're maximizing the use of our vehicles instead of spending money early that does not need to be spent. So long haul, thanks to DRS Technologies and what they're doing for our nation's national defense, we're able to save substantial sums of money due to the technological advances and the efficiencies that they provide to our nation's defense capabilities. So in that vein, thank you so much for what you all do, not only for our country's national defense, but also for our community in choosing this place to exist and having existed now for over 60 years. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. And to DRS, we say welcome. We're so glad Thank to have you. you over here in, in uh, Redstone Gateway. You know, all three of us voted on the, uh, the tool that was used to develop this, which was tax increment financing. Uh, I had to run it through the city. Y'all ran it through the county, and y'all were very very good to make sure that this project came forth. And it's really Research Park South, 4.2 million square feet. You better get busy, Greg. 4.2 million <laughs> square feet, 52 buildings. We have four buildings up now, 48 more to go. Is that right? Good. Uh, 48 more to go. And this is an area of, uh, is part of our infrastructure. It's the ability to, to build, to grow, and to bring in companies that really make a difference in the area that will be uh, part of our center of excellence that we, we know as Huntsville. So thank you for being part of our park. Uh, we look forward to seeing you grow as we grow and, um, and, and thank you for being part of Huntsville and good partners in Huntsville. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor to be here once again, and especially to the DRS leadership and your family, many members that are here with us today. Not a new commitment, this is a continued commitment of DRS and what they mean to our community and what they mean to our country. 
It's just an honor to be here with you to watch as this company continues to grow, to reinvest in our community, and then to be placed right here at the entrance to Redstone Arsenal, where 48% of the people going into Redstone travel every day. We're working together, a team effort with the city of Huntsville, with Congressman Brooks' office, the city of Madison, the Madison County Commission, to set this center of excellence so it's perfectly positioned so you can reach your best goals. It's an honor to be here today, and thank you for reinvesting in Madison County. Hi, I won't, I'm only going to say a few words and then I'm going to introduce Tim Smith, who, who is really the founding father here that needs to speak because this is his facility. But I, I do just want to say, first of all, I'm excited and honored to be here um, when Tim asked me to, to come down and participate. Um, you know, I made sure that, that we made time in my calendar to make this happen. And I have to say, you know, I've seen the photos um, many times in PowerPoint, but uh, driving in here, you really understand what, what you folks have done to actually create this environment. And, uh, and I look forward, every time I come here, I'm gonna see how many new buildings come up. So I'll keep a little checklist for you going. <laughs> uh, because I think this is great and, and the community that's gonna get built here and, and to be sort of on the leading edge of it, which I'm not sure I completely understood. I'm sure Tim told me along the way, um, but we're really at the beginning stages of this development, which, which is just you know, really great for, for DRS. It's really great for the community. And it's really great for our employees. I mean, I was talking to Tim this morning about, you know, how many different places they've been. And, you know, every time they've relocated, they've kind of moved to an older and older building. So it's kind of exciting for everyone to be at the leading edge of a new place and a new facility and be able to make it your own and uh, be able to design it and develop it to meet our strategic goals. So, uh, so I thank everyone for coming out today. And, and it's starting to get really hot up here, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking and, and introduce Tim. Um, Tim is the VPGM of the DRS facility here in Huntsville. And uh, besides that, you know, when I asked him this morning, I asked everyone, you know, what else do you want me to highlight? I'm told that the only thing that matters here is that he's a University of Alabama grad. So I, 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 uh, I, uh, I introduce you, Tim Smith. University of Alabama. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, first and foremost, thank you elected officials. Really appreciate you taking time out to be here today. It's very important for us. Thank you all for being here. We are extremely excited. We're uh, the employee base, I can tell you here in Huntsville, all 200 employees, very, very excited to be moving into this great facility. Can't wait to get it completed. Uh, we have a timeline of trying to get this phase one you're currently standing in completed by around the end of February timeframe so we can start moving in next year. And then the uh, second phase, which we're going to break ground on today, uh, we're hoping to get moved into it by June timeframe of next year. So again, the employees are very, very excited. Uh, as Sally indicated, we've been in the Huntsville community and also Congressman Brooks for uh, several decades, dating back to the 1950s. We've been in many different building locations throughout town, starting out with the uh, Chrysler plant one and two at the end of Wind Drive. The military division was just a small uh, crib area, if you will, within that company. But uh, we grew out and grew into multiple different uh, locations within the community. But this is the first time we've moved into a brand new, uh, great facility like this one. And again, we're very, very excited about it. And we appreciate you all coming out to help us celebrate that event today. Thank you. So thank you, Sally. And thank you, Tim, for choosing to do business in Huntsville. DRS is a recognized world leader in defense technology and support, and we're honored that you would choose to do business in our community. The Chamber is proud to assist you in any way possible, and uh, we look forward to your continued success here. Uh, Sally and Tim, uh, if you would please join me here in front of the podium. We have a small memento that we'd like to present to you to remember this occasion. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Thank you. you.